In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and animate text along a path in Adobe After Effects. Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As always, stick around to the end of the video for a bonus tip. All right, this week I'm back in After Effects again with a quick and easy tutorial. So let's do it. I'm working in After Effects 23.3.0, so if yours is older or newer, it might look slightly different. So one of the great things about After Effects is that you can use it to create custom animation for your projects. Quite often you want that text to move around an object, or a logo, like so. To do this in After Effects, you need to create a path, then align the text to it, then animate. So here's how you do it. First, create a folder on your desktop to put all the elements as well as the project in. I always stress being organized. If you are, it'll save you time and heartache. Call your folder text on a path and then put the video clip that you'd like to use for your animation in that folder. If your video clip exists in your Premiere project, I'd like you to duplicate it and put a copy of it in the After Effects folder. That way, the two are completely separate. You don't have to have your Premiere project drive connected to your computer to work on your After Effects animation and vice versa. Next, let's create an After Effects project that has the same specifications as the video that you're editing with. You always want to work in the same video settings across the board so that your final animation won't have to be stretched in your edit and end up looking terrible. If you need to find out what your video settings are, open one of your clips in QuickTime. Make sure you have it selected, hit Command I on a Mac to open the inspector. Here you can see that the dimensions of my clip are 4K or 3840 by 2160. And this clip happens to be 25 frames per second. But I'm going to choose 24p for my After Effects composition because that's what the majority of my clips are, 24 frames per second. So as mentioned, my edit is 4K, 24 frames per second. So I'll create a new project, new composition, and choose the UHD 4K preset and change the frame rate to 23976 or 24p. If your video is something other than 4K, 24p, choose the settings that match your clips. Next, rename your composition by highlighting the word Comp1 and hitting Enter on your keyboard. Call your composition Text on a Path. Then, save your project to your desktop by hitting Command-S on a Mac, Control-S on a PC. And navigate to the Text on a Path folder on your desktop. Call your After Effects project Text on a Path. All right, now let's bring your video clip into After Effects by double-clicking in the gray area under your composition. Navigate to your Text on a Path folder and select your video clip. Now make sure your playhead is at the top of your timeline and drag your clip down to the timeline. You can play it down by hitting Spacebar. So I'd like to create some text that says Childhood and I want it to run from the boy's feet up to his head and then go off the screen just above his head. So first write out your text. I'll write the word childhood here. By selecting the text tool, the letter T here at the top. If it's grayed out, make sure you're working on your composition. This causes confusion when you're just starting out in After Effects. To make sure you're working on the composition and not the clip itself, go to the program tab and double click on your composition in the program tab like so. And now you can see that you're working on the composition and not the video layer. So let's put the text on your composition and modify it so it looks nice. I'll choose the Savoy font here at a size of around 400 points. Then select your text layer and create the path for it to travel along. To do this, choose the pen tool up here and create points by clicking around your subject. As you click, drag your cursor a little bit so that you get these Bezier handles, which will allow you to make your path more rounded and smooth. Great, we have text, we have a path, and now let's animate your text along that path. 
To make your text move along the path, you're going to first expand your text layer. Then expand the text submenu and go to Path Options. To align your text to the path, to the right of path, select Mask 1 in the drop-down menu. Now you can see that your text has snapped to your path. And to animate along this path, you now need to create a start and an end keyframe. First, make sure your playhead is at the beginning of your composition. And to set your start keyframe, go to the first margin option under path and click the stopwatch to the left to set a keyframe. Now, if you click and drag the value to the right of the first margin, you should see your text sliding along that path. So click and drag until your text is off the left side of your screen. This is where it's going to start. Next, you'll need to make an end keyframe. Before you do that, though, you will need to determine approximately how long you would like your animation to be and move the playhead there. I want my animation to take around 3 seconds to animate, so I'm going to drag my playhead to 3 seconds here. As a general rule, text needs to be on screen for at least 3 seconds for someone to be able to read it. And then to set your end keyframe, change the first margin value again so that now the text goes off the screen on the opposite end of your path, which for me is over the boy's head here. Now when you play your composition down by hitting spacebar, you can see your text animate along your path. Lovely. Also, keep in mind that you can always adjust your path points after you create keyframes. And you can even add additional points with the pen tool. Pretty cool. All right, let's do that tip. So now that you've created your cool text path animation, there are two ways you can render your final video. One, you can render it with the video clip married to the text by first selecting your render area by sliding this bottom bar here to the end of your animation. This is basically like setting an in and an out point in Premiere. Then go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. By the way, you can also send it to Media Encoder as well, but for this we're just going to export from After Effects. And to render your text animation with the video married to it, you would simply choose Best Settings for Render here and High Quality for your Output Module. Click on Output 2 to change the name you need it to, navigate to your text on a path folder, and hit the Render button. Or 2, you could also export your text with no video behind it. Then you would bring it into Premiere and marry it to the video there. There are a couple advantages to this. One, your final animation file will be smaller. This is good if you're uploading it to an FTP for a client. And secondly, if the text and the video aren't married, you can tinker with the video underneath it in Premiere once you import it. So to export your text without the video behind it, first, in your composition, turn off the eyeball to the left of the video layer. Then select your render area by adjusting the bar here, then File, Export, Add to Render Queue. Click on your Render Queue and under Output Module, select Lossless with Alpha. An alpha channel is what allows your video under the clip to show through once you put the text on top of it. Under Output, give your final animation a name, navigate to your text on a path folder, and hit Render. Now when you bring your text animation into Premiere, you can just place it on top of the video clip and adjust the video underneath. Say I like this part of the clip better. I can just move my text a little later, like so. So render your text with an alpha when you can. It'll give you a smaller file size and a little more flexibility in the edit. All right, as always, if you found any of this to be helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted and I will catch you next time.